Right, and you're back to Prime Morning. It's time for Star's Conversation, a star. And so, um, you know, Nala's memorial lecture, when I heard about it, I was really wondering and uh, I was very inquisitive into finding out exactly what Nala's memorial lecture was, only for me to find out that Nala was a service dog. And I know someone would ask, what is a service dog? And what is Nala's Memorial Lecture all about? And we're going to have some dogs performing at the event as well. I mentioned earlier that Star would be performing. Uh, but to help us really understand what Nala's Memorial Lecture is about and what to really expect on that day, I have seated with me Mr. Samo Tiwanitaba Kuteba, who is the CEO of Tiwanisam Group of Companies dog and wild cat trainer now in the intro when KMJ and I were in uh, you know doing the whole intro I mentioned that this gentleman was actually the one who trained um, Caesars Tigers he's been here he was here some months ago and it, it was very interesting knowing that you don't only do dogs you don't only do dogs no, no. you train tigers very interesting. And so he's here with us and seated to his left. I have Dr. Connie Boy Mensah, who is a veterinary doctor and vet surgeon. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. All right. Okay, so let's get right into Nala's memorial lecture. What is it about? Who is Nala? Uh, Nala was one of my um, family members, part of my family members. And he was a Labrador, a dog. Uh, someone would say, Nala is here. What is a dog? Nala is and, a dog. Yes, a dog. And it's a Labrador by breed. She lived with me for four years. And um, she had had a very great bond with me, my family, and any other person who came into contact with Nala. Mm. She served us with love. And that has really created a kind of um, happiness to me. Nala actually healed me when I was down with a spine problem. When you were down with a spine problem, Nala yes. healed you? Yeah, Nala healed me. Oh. And um, I bought her for, for two purposes. To train her to be one of the best dogs, best trained dogs in my, in my stock. And to also produce puppies for me to sell and make money. Yeah. Unfortunately, for four years of having Nala, Nala has never come on hits as a female. But she played the other role for me to my satisfaction. To the extent that she added more strength to me when I was down. Yeah, because saying that she healed you when you yes, had a spinal so, problem. Yes, so if there's no time for me to elaborate more on that, but on the day of this memorial lecture, more, more light will be thrown on it as how Nala healed me when I was down with the spine. Wow. Yeah, so um, that is Nala and for some few reasons, she felt sick and not sick lying down. She was still in performance. Okay. In fact, one time children are having a bad, bad day, for instance, we are invited to perform with Nala and her colleague Star was one of them. Beauty is there. And um, we had, she had a growth on her, on her thigh, as to like an abnormal growth on her thigh. Mm. So we decided to call for, an, for a surgery so that she would have a number. Sometimes when you go is for, that Nala? Yes, that's yeah. Nala. Okay. That's Nala there. Okay. And uh, uh, so we have to go for the surgery on the tie. Mm. And unfortunately, this, is, this was her last performance. Oh. This was her last when performance. When was this? Um, uh, that was barely a month, a month and a half ago. I just can't remember the date exactly. But she was supposed to go through the surgery on this day, this very day that we did this performance. Mm. Because of the, the performance, we decided to postpone the day to, like, the fall, it was Tuesday that we did the performance. And on Saturday, she went for the, 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 the surgery. And um, that ended Nala with this surgery. And um, after the surgery, for five days, we don't know what was happening. And Nala just gave up. But Dr. Connie, were you the one who operated on her? Yeah. Ah, okay. So um, I was with my mom to wish her the happy mother's, you know, I went to the village yeah. to visit my mom, and I was there, and the sad news came to me that, Na that Nala, Nala had, passed. had gone. Oh. In fact, I couldn't control myself. But um, I'm happy she served me well, 
and that alone. I don't want to leave Nala name in blank. It's the reason we are calling this historic memorial lecture. Ever in the history of Africa, this has never happened before. Mm. And we want to create this awareness. Now, we're going, with this memorial lecture, we're going to talk about, we promote responsible pet ownership. We're going to raise awareness of animals' welfare. Mm. We are going to strengthen the bond between owners and their dogs. So Nala's memorial lecture is coming in full package so that what this dog did to me, you have your dog there, will do even more than what the dog did to me. Mm. So that we can all see the benefits in having dogs. Okay. So Nala was a star in my life. Dr. Connie? Yeah. You know, um, when, when, when you came in, yeah. I wanted to touch beauty. You told me that I should start, you know, with the back, with the back of my of hand, yes. not just go straight, you know, with the face and everything. Now, um, you operated on Nala, and you have encountered quite a number of dogs because you're a veterinary doctor. So tell us about how best we can, you know, the emotional being of a relationship that we need to foster between us and animals, especially dogs. Okay. Um, well, thank you for having us here. Um, I would say a uh, dog is just not an animal. Okay. Now they are family members. Yeah. In fact, we have people who purchase dog, maybe star, and then they add the family name. Mm. So it's a human being on its own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, when you get a puppy, because we start them off at puppy stage, there are so many things we do to bring them up. Okay. Um, just like you give birth. You have to take care of your child. The same applies to the dogs we have. Right. Uh, they, are, they are new family members. So we do vaccinations, you deworm them, tick and flea control, you feed them well. Mm. Um, unfortunately, there are lapses somewhere okay. where people get uh, pets or get dogs because uh, a family member has or a neighbor has a dog. So because it's looking good, they also go and purchase without knowing how much is put in the dog before it becomes a, the nice dog we are seeing. So people skip a lot of things. Mm. And uh, the moment you start doing that, the, the dogs don't thrive. They don't do well. Okay. So you end up having tick fever, worm infestation, skin problems and all. So. Um, ours is to guide people as to what to do when they get the new puppy. Good food, deworm regularly, tick and flea control, and then that's it. You also vaccinate. You also vaccinate. Yes. Now, speaking about Nala's memorial lecture. Now, yeah. Nala, um, you performed the surgery on, yes. on Nala. What exactly went wrong? Because after the surgery, five days after, and then she passes. Um, well, um, what, 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 was, what, was, what was the surgery in particular that you performed on her? Nala was presented with a, a growth on the right thigh. And uh, in fact, a surgery had been done already. So it seems it's just um, an aggressive growth that came there. Mm. Well, we did a surgery because uh, it was affecting the gait, how she was walking. Okay. It was a, okay. a huge mass. Um, the surgery went well. In fact, we took blood. We did x-ray to check the chest and all that. Yeah, the surgery went well. The only challenge we were anticipating was bleeding, but there was, there was none of that. Yeah. Mm. So uh, to hear that uh, Nala passed, we were all surprised. We were all shocked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's how it went. So uh, there's nothing much we can do. Yeah. Samuel, are, are you being, the way you're quiet and it's like you're reminiscing, you know, moments with Nala? Yes. Um, when Nala died, in fact, my last born, uh, second by last born, up to now, we find, we were, we were find it difficult to tell her. Oh, you've not told her? She had, I think she got me recently when she saw the Nala's Memorial Lecture on t -shirt. Yeah, the T-shirt. And she said, what is this? Before, I mean, the, the siblings just told her, this is what is happening. And she cried. But it is the love that, the reason why we're even going to this, mm. you know Nala, even though she never gave birth, 
she loves children. You can see it on the video how she was, yeah, and, you know, yeah, you know, with the children. Now, this to tell me, you know, we have we want to create a bond here in, in, in comparative psychology, for instance, learning animals' behavior in connection to human behavior. I look at something here. My dog Nala, which was like a wife to me, <laughs> never gave birth to me, but I loved her. Right. You out there with your wife or with your husband, maybe your child hasn't come. What do you do? You start mm. hitting yourselves. Mm. We don't do that. What dogs has impact on us is to tell you today that my reason was to also get puppies out from Nala. It never you, happened. It never happened. But what she gave to me, so what your wife is giving to you is not about, it shouldn't be about children. Mm. It should go beyond that. If you are going in for love, let the love speak to every aspect of your life. What Nala is bringing to me, today, even though we are doing this memorial lecture, the end of it is that we are going to make a child smile somewhere. Because we are going to donate to a children's home after, after the whole you know, memorial lecture. Okay. We have to donate to a children's home. Okay, that's nice. Still love children. Yeah. We want children to also feel that love in Nala because of her death. Okay. Yes. Dr. Connie, yes. uh, what are some of the medical um, you know, moves or decisions that one can take in relation to um, having a pet or an animal like Nala? What are some of the things? Because I don't think that someone didn't do, some, didn't do a, anything wrong. I doubt you did something wrong. No, 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 it's no. It's just no, a no, growth no. that starts yes, on her. Yes. And then unfortunately after the surgery, bleeding and then all that, she passed. So what are some of the medical decisions that we can take as pet owners, dog lovers, pet lovers? What are some of the things we can do? Um, first of all, I think when, when you notice your animal is not himself or herself, the first thing is to go to the vet. Sometimes we wait too long. By the time mm. you get there, it will be too late. Yeah. yeah. Some will call you and will want uh, online consultation, which I don't think is the right is thing. Is the right yeah. thing? Okay. Because if you call me, I'm not seeing the animal. Yes. So I can't give you, you know, a detail of what to do. But then if you bring it to the clinic, to the hospital, they, then we are able to assess. You see, in her case, the way we saw it and we were like, we want to see if it's malignant or benign. Mm. That's why we did the uh, blood test, did the x-ray, so that we know we are safe. And in fact, I even had to talk to the brother that a surgery is a surgery. Anything can happen. Okay. But uh, we'll do our best for it because the, 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 the mass was quite big. Uh, we weighed it. It was almost a kilo. Yeah, so it was weighing the dog. But, well, we don't know what happened. Yeah. The, the, we, when, when we finished the surgery, everything was okay. Yeah. yeah. Then after five days, he called to say, Nala is gone. Yeah. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Samuel, um, beyond what you're doing for Nala, in memory of Nala, are there any other things that you'll be doing after the memorial lecture in memory still of Nala? Yes, so this thing is not going to end here. When memorial lecture has come to stay, and it's going to happen every year. Okay. And um, we're going to make sure that since it's the first of its kind in Africa, in Ghana, we're going to do it in a way that this continues. And there shouldn't be an end to this memorial lecture, mm -hmm. even if I'm, not a, if I'm not alive. Right? And this donation to children's home is just going to happen every year after every memorial lecture of Nala. Okay. And that is what that so legacy has to be. So this is going to be a be. yearly celebration that you're exactly. going to be having. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So on that D-Day, what exactly will be happening? Tell us what to expect. Yeah. I know that star, lovely star here will be performing. Mm. And there's beauty in the house. Beauty, what breed is beauty again? Beauty is uh, Malinois. Malinois. Yes. A Belgian Malinois. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I know that star will be performing. Oh, yes. What so other thing will what be to happening? expect on that day? It's, it's, it's too much. I don't know how to express it. It's too much because um, the activity lineup is that we're going to have the special um, speeches, speeches from the veterinary doctor. Of course, Dr. Connie is going to be the main speaker 
in terms of the veterinary experts. Okay. I am going to, you know, talk about the OHI issue of NALA and, uh, you know, why NALA and how NALA and why today NALA. Yes. And uh, we're going to have a dog trainer, uh, doc, uh, Mr. Awuno Rena, who is a renowned dog trainer and also a security expert who's going to talk about dog training. And uh, we're going to have somebody like my boss, Anana Kwan Bidiako. He's going to give a speech mm -hmm. also in the program. We have prominent chiefs. Uh, my former and current MP in my area, current MP um, Teresa Awunu, Honorable Teresa Awuni, is going to give a speech. Okay. Uh, my f former MP, which is um, Honorable Fusini Isa, is going, to, is going to be part of the whole program. My former boss and my boss who is um, in the person of Honorable George Ander. He actually raised me, and he was a, he was a former de, um, Deputy Minister of Communication and the MP for Otu Senya. He's going to be a chairman, actually, he's going to be the chairman of the program. Mm. We have activities like um, the, um, traditional dancers who are going to perform. This is big. Yeah, who is going to perform. We have um, um, people from other sectors in their, in their performance coming mm. in to also perform. Okay. Dogs from the Ghana prisons are also coming to perform. The Ghana Prisons K9 unit is going to perform with their dogs. Myself, of course, as a dog trainer, I'm going to display with my dogs as well. If possible, I'll bring the tigers there. You bring the <laughs> Don't make people run away. Oh. You know, so Star is there. Yeah. You know, Nala was a, a, a coach. In my sh I have a pet shop that I run, I, and I accommodate dogs that have issues when the dogs are brought to my, tra for my facility for training. I leave them with Nala. I train them with Nala. And Nala coaches them. Nala was helping you coach the other I'm telling dogs. You, I'm telling you. Oh. So I've lost something. You yeah. know. So yeah. dogs, some of those rehabilitated dogs are going to take part in the display. Okay. And uh, if you have beauty, I don't, I don't know, if, I don't know if, if beauty should be here to see the design that we're going to have. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's, um, if can I have beauty? Can we, can we, yeah, please, please bring beauty. Bring beauty. Wow, if the camera should show beauty out, beauty is going to have this. You know, this is rest So beauty peace. has on hair. Rest. Please, uh, please bring her. Okay. Yes. Stay. Okay, so rest in peace, Nala. Yes. So, Sprayed on her. Okay, sit. Okay. All right. No, sit properly. Speak. 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 Okay, let's go. Speak. <laughs> Speak. Speak. <laughs> okay, go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So there goes beauty. Beauty is going to be there. Mm -hmm. Star is going to be there. Of course, the great lady who came here the last time. Yes. Lubina uh, is, gospel. Lubina is turning 14 years. Mm. She's, going to be, she's going to perform as well. A lot of dogs will perform from my side and other dog trainers. I've invited a lot of dog trainers who are also coming with their dogs to perform. And so all these people, and in fact, Ghana police have also assured me of their presence okay. to make sure that if you are everything coming there, is everything is calm. Okay. I have um, one great man, also former secretary to the late President Mills. Mm. He's going to be part of the program. He told mm. me, I am proud of you. Oh. And I'm, I'm going to honor this, this, this invitation. And so a lot of things are going to happen on that day. And so when you are coming and you have your, your lovely dog like this, yeah. you have your child who loves dogs, yeah. please let him come. It's nice to come and see what the dogs can do, mm -hmm. one day the dogs will do, mm -hmm. you see a lot of things in, on that day. I'm a it's, dog it's, lover, so I'll definitely be magic. there. It's something that you should come and see yourself. <laughs> yeah. Star, are you okay? All right. <laughs> so the, a lot of things are going to happen on that day. But this is, this is really beautiful. Dr. Connie, yes. you see, with everything that someone is saying here, it proves that he's a great pet owner. Yes. He has built a, a very solid bond with his pets. So, as a vet, yes. okay, as a vet, how, tell us, you know, how important it is to be a very responsible pet owner and, you know, um, putting into consideration or making it very important when it comes to veterinary care. You see, uh, pets are very loyal animals, let's put it that way. They are very, very loyal. So, the, 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 the much you give them, the much you also they receive. They also give yes. you, okay. Yes. So, it's always very good to look after them properly. 
it's not just throwing leftover for them. Mm. It's not just buying something over the counter for them. No, you have to treat them. Properly. My co-host KMJ fed his dog vegetables and chicken yesterday. Uh, the, the chicken KMJ, the chicken and vegetables that he couldn't properly prepare. He wanted to prepare <laughs> so <laughs> he gave it to his dog yesterday. Yeah, uh, usually we advise you don't give a lot of spice food to them. Yeah, it, it, it affects them. It affects their health. Yeah. It affects their health. Yes. So no spice food. food. Yeah, well, I don't give my dogs pepper, um, salt, oh, and all yeah, that. Yeah. I don't give my dogs In that. In fact, they, they even have their commercially made food. For yes. Them. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. somebody who is interested in adapting the pets. Yes. What should that person look out for? What advice would you give? Um, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are so many breeds of dogs. Mm. And uh, they each have their uh, capabilities and abilities. Mm -hmm. They each have their strengths. Yeah. So if if you want a dog, you just read on the dog. On the so, dog. Some okay. some are family dogs like Nala. Nala is a family dog. Uh, others are working dogs, security dogs. So, so depending on what know, you yes, are looking for. Yes, you have to know what you are looking for mm. because you can't uh, bring someone like Nala in. And then you leave Nala outside to fend for itself. Uh, it, it, Nala will not uh, grow to be the Nala that you want. Yeah. Now they become aggressive. Mm -hmm. You know, dogs are pack animals. Mm. So if you bring them in and you leave them to do what they want, now they become the leader instead of you instead becoming. Of you. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you have to know what breed of dog you want. You research on it, understand them before you get them in. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. yes. Some yeah, so, so yeah. Asking to add what the doctor sure, is just saying, sure. there are some few elements that, that's what we talk about, promoting pets, uh, responsible pet ownership. Mm -hmm. You can't just go and buy any dog. Mm. Not all dogs are good for all people. Okay. Right? So maybe I want to buy a dog to surprise my mom on the birthday. And he goes to buy a Great Dane for a, an old lady who is who can even hold that yeah. big dog? So not all dogs are good for all people. You, you you have to pick the right pets. Okay. After picking the right pets, try to help the dog health wise. Okay. When your dog is healthy, you are healthy. Because if the dog is not healthy, you are not healthy. Mm. Because you can the dog can spread even germs mm. to you yourself Very as a true. person. Very true. So how do you make your, your dog healthy? As doctor was saying. Make sure you get him regular veterinary care, mm. give him fresh water every time. Mm. Sometimes you leave, you, you, I'm a trainer, I go to some people's houses. The bowl, under the bowl is greenish. It means the water has been there for a long time. They don't even change the water, they don't even wash the bowl. They, 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 so, I mean, this dog will drink this water and come and lick you. And uh, the gems it found in that water goes to you. So creating a responsible pet ownership, getting the right pets, making sure the pet is healthy. And with, with kids as well, if you have dogs in the house and you cannot regulate the dog with your kids, mark it down somewhere that you're going to have a problem someday, one day because if the dog doesn't give problems to your, your kids in terms of biting, he's going to transfer germs to your, your child. Okay. So okay. when you are doing all these things, you make sure you come on and come to understand that how do you create that bond with that dog? With that dog, yes. Constant um, closeness. I mean, Frequent closeness or attached with your dog, it brings bond. That bond is the love. You see, when you were holding Star, she, she wasn't feeling comfortable mm -hmm. because she doesn't really have, the way you are holding yeah. it, she wasn't okay. Yeah. Get someone, train your dog, groom your dog. In fact, as you are grooming the dog, you, know, you notice that the nails are too long. Maybe it's having tick, maybe it's having flea. Maybe the ears is something, there's a problem with the ear. Mm. That is what you need to do to get close to your dog so that you can have that healthy dog and healthy you. When you exercise the dog, you exercise yourself. That's true. You have the dog and you say the dog is pulling my flowers, it's chewing my car, it's scratching my this. Why is the dog doing that? Because you're, you're not, not doing the right thing. Yeah. to do the right yeah. thing. More energy, more distraction in your yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. More eating, more shitting. Yeah. If you eat anyhow, he shit anyhow. Anyhow, that's true. <laughs> so you need to get someone <laughs> If you have a dog, before you even think of getting the dog, plan of getting a professional hand to take you through how to handle the dog, how to feed the dog. I'm buying it for pets. 
I'm buying it for security. But you mix the whole process of train, raising the dog together. Mm. Which one? If you're buying it for fat, how do you raise it? If you're buying it for guard dog, how do you raise it? These two things are confusing yeah. in the first place. So breeders must get the concept of even giving you the dog in the first place. He should be able to educate you. If it's an indoor, like, like my star here, mm -hmm. how would star not poo poo and we be anywhere in my room? How would I train him to do it's, that? It's, it's one issue I had with one of my so dogs. So come on yeah. that day, and we have a drama. We've created a drama. In fact, Adna, um, Edna uh, Atachi, one renowned actress, act actress, is going to be there. I'm going to perform. Edna Matachi. Yes, I'm going to okay. perform with her with a, a drama okay. concerning dogs and wild dogs and all those things. It's nice. going to be fun. Another actor, Andy Tete, mm. is going to be there. A lot of guys is going to be part of this program. So. Mm, don't sit at home. I'll be there. I'll definitely be there because I need to learn quite a lot. My, 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 my dogs at some point were giving me a lot of trouble. They, were, they are indoor dogs, but they were giving me a lot of trouble <clears> with <throat> pooing and peeing almost everywhere. So I had to put in a cut, like a lot of efforts in training them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to not poo and pee just yes. anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I think I, but I need some more learning. To, I need to do some. So what about more chewing your stuff? And in the, in chewing my stuff. Oh, they chewed my couch. Yes, because <laughs> they, you see, by they default, chewed my couch. <laughs> by default, dogs need to exercise their jaws. Yes. So as their puppies eat, growing up, their teeth are eating. But I call them chewies. Yes. You yes. know the yeah. toys. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Yeah. Different toys. Different dogs. Do. You yeah. see, sometimes oh. so, somebody will go and buy rubber stuff and put on the dog for the dog to play with. He will play with it for some few times and leaves it. But if you get a bone and he's, he's tasting the bone, he's enjoying it. By the time he finishes chewing the bone, the jaws are exercised. Your slippers is left free. <laughs> Your couch is left free. The, the teeth are also <laughs> my dog Zeus has chewed a lot of my slippers <laughs> anyway. So let's come to let's come to the video. When is it happening? Where is it happening? And all that. Yes, um, it's going to happen at the GH Media School, the Mega Studio. At, okay. Uh, GH Media is found in Abofu, Achimota Abofu to be precise. And um, if you know Achimota News Station, if you get to that area, mm -hmm. you ask of GH Media School. Mm -hmm. When you get to that, you ask of Tiwani Sam Dogs World, where are we located? Anywhere, any, ask, any person you, you found there, ask of where is Tiwani Sam Dogs World? Where are we located? It's, we are just close to G8 Media School. And fortunately, we've gotten the mega, the mega studio, which is a big, very big you know, space that can accommodate a lot of people. So, uh, but come early. I'm sure you may, you may not be able to get in because the place might fill up. Mm. Yeah, so um, it's going to happen at, on Saturday. 12.30, in fact, because of the this big men, Saturday. yeah, this coming Saturday, because of the big men that are coming, in fact, if I say big men, you could kind of yeah. people I mentioned, yeah. I have forgotten one um, great Danny, man, he's coming there, as a very big man as well. We are going to make sure we go by time. It's 12.30 and it's 12.30, not to come at um, one o'clock and think that we are going, but then we are almost, it's just going to two hours um, period. You're going to do everything within two within hours. Within two hours. And then you're done. And then we are done so that everybody can have uh, space and go. The 12 p.m. prompt. On Saturday. On Saturday. Yes. Is it free or yeah, is it a fee? It's, there's no fee to it. Mm. Now, let me just add something here. We, the intention of donating to the children's home, to when the Sam has have our money put somewhere. Okay. But we want to also tell you who wants to put a smile on somebody's face. If you are coming and you want to support that initiative with your, your cash, your pampers, your whatever, feel free because we are going to, we immediately after this program we are going to the children's home. Okay. So if you want to support that initiative, why not? Mm. You okay. are welcome with whatever that you have, so that we can all make somebody smile somewhere. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Doc. Yes. Um, final words, anything you want to say before we go? Oh, uh, all that I'll say we've said it already, <clears throat> but. Um, when you are choosing your pets, you choose them wisely. You also go to the vet anytime you see any change in your pet. You don't wait, because when you wait, it will be too late. So the earlier, the better. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Connie, and thank you very much, Samo. And so Nala's Memorial Lecture will be happening on Saturday, 12 p.m. prompt, GH Media School, just, you know, I don't think, it's on Google, you know, Google map, you just type in GH Media School, we take it straight there. It's at a buffet, it's free, 
no fee but then if you're interested in donating or contributing to the very good deed that Samuel will be doing in memory of Nala by you know donating to the orphanage you can do so in cash or in kind and so my guests for this morning have been Mr. Samuel Tewani Taba Kuteba, who is the CEO of Tuwani Sam Group of Companies, Dog and Wild Cat Trainer, and then Dr. Connie Boy Mensa, who is a veterinary doctor and vet surgeon. Thank you, gentlemen, for your time this morning.